Hi everyone, thank you so much for downloading the free customer purchase journey template from retailbliss.ca. I'm Christy, I'm the founder of retailbliss.ca and encircle.ca. I'm a retail management consultant as well as a fashion designer and owner of my own line. I'm here today to walk you through a really great tool that I've created that can help you take your brand to the next level. So while this is designed and this instructions will go along more with a product-based, a physical product-based retail business, it's definitely applicable to service-based businesses as well. So I guess your first question here is what is a customer purchase journey? So this is a tool that's been used for I would say almost 100 years by consultants. So it was first developed by William Townsend, who was a bond salesman in the 1920s. Um, McKinsey, which is a famous consultancy, picked it up and named it the Consumer Decision Journey or the CDJ. And I've seen it used today at clients, actually. It's sometimes also called the Purchase Funnel. I call it the Customer Purchase Journey. Um, but there's a number of ways you can name it. So I've developed my own template for RetailPlus.ca taking my knowledge of the purchase journey. You may have seen it in a cyclical format, um, maybe more of a flow chart, but here I just thought this was a really great visual layout. And we'll walk through each of the steps in the purchase journey and we'll talk a little bit about how to use this template. So essentially why you would use this template. The number one reason you would use this template is to really be able to step into the shoes of your customer. Sometimes as retailers we get so detached from our customers um, because we're not connected with them on a day-to-day -day basis, especially if we're not selling to them face-to-face. -to -face. So this type of template and this exercise can help you connect one-on-one -on -one with your customers and really step into their life and their journey of finding you as well as purchasing from you and gaining loyalty to your brand. So there's, it's broken up into two sections, the pre-purchase stage and the post-purchase stage. So if you look at the left-hand side of this PDF, I'm just going to zoom it in, um, you can see that there's five blocks along the side. So essentially, starting at the beginning, this is awareness. So this I've called find you. So this is how customers are finding you. So in this template, across the top, you see your actions to customers, your competition, and improvement opportunities. The way to use this template is to go through each of the five steps, and we'll walk through them right now really quickly, and then fill out the template to the right. And the template to the right basically is what you're putting out there to customers at each of these stages, whether it's actions that you're taking, whether it's um, brand and messaging that you're doing or some little detail you want to capture it in that first column. The second column is your competition. So this is where you want to put what your competition is doing. So think of your number one or number one and two competitors and put some notes into that column of what you've observed of their behavior. And if you haven't observed their behavior, now is a great time to start because you should always have an eye on what your competitors are doing. The third column is improvement opportunities. So this is something to do later on. So you want to come back to this template and really have a critical look at what you're doing at each stage of this purchase journey and take a look at it holistically and think about where are some opportunities for you to improve the experience at each of these five stages. So let's get started. So in the awareness stage, this is the find you stage. So this is the visibility. How are customers, how is your target customer going to find you? How are they going to become aware of your brand? How are they doing it? How are you doing it today? Is it working? So your actions to customers may be some of the following. So maybe you work a lot with bloggers. Maybe you do some social media. Whatever you're doing, let's capture that in the first block there. Your competition. Research your competition, check out their Facebook page, check out if you've seen them in any magazines, start to make some notes there as to what they're doing. And then come back to that improvement opportunities when we're done the chart. The second stage is what we call consider. So this is where a consumer has found you and they're currently evaluating your products and services. So most likely they're on your website or maybe they're in your store and they're picking up products or they're surfing over different product items and checking out your assortment, your pricing, your promotions, learning about your brand, who you are, your story. 
So this is some key points here where you can touch on some of the stuff that you're doing on your website to talk about your story. So are you, do you have an interactive video explaining your journey? Do you um, have detailed product features? Do you have 360 de uh, degree rotation of photos that people can look at? Um, your competition, what are they doing? Are they doing something cool in the space? Are they doing something that you think would really help seal the deal if somebody's on their website? So next, let's move on to the purchase stage. So this is when the critical stage when you actually get a customer on your website to click that add to cart and buy. So that's the ideal conversion that you want on your website. Um, so your actions to customers here how are you getting them to choose you? Is it that you have a really seamless checkout process? Do you have a great return policy? What are some of the things here that are helping kind of seal that deal of purchase? And is there anything that your competition is doing that's really interesting that maybe you could leverage in some way? I'm not suggesting you copy your competition, but there's sometimes some ways you can get inspiration to do something kind of cool, especially if you're looking at a competitor that's doing really, really well in your space. The next one is experience, so live your brand. So this is after the purchase, everything that comes after that. So in between getting that invoice, that um, you know confirmation of purchase, what's that experience look like from end to end to delivery of product? So take a critical look at what you're doing um, you know, some examples I talk about in some of my blog posts is, you know, what goes into your ship bag? What materials are going in there? How are they aligned with your brand and your vision? And how does every single thing that you do with a customer live your brand? And when you have something aligned to your brand, then your customers start to get brought into that experience. A great example is customer... Um, customer service at my company in circle.ca we call it customer love because we want our brand to be very warm and inclusive and we want people to have positive experiences so we call it customer love so what are you doing from that point of purchase confirmation credit card goes through to delivery at that customer's door are you sending them a note when it gets delivered because maybe they weren't home when it was delivered what are those things that you're doing and what is your competition doing and last but certainly not least advocate so how are you turning that customer into a loyal friend how are you bringing them not only into your brand experience but making them fall in love with it and this is the ideal state you want to get to with customers because if you can turn customers into advocates and loyal friends then that is the best thing ever because they become free marketing for you they will talk about your brand they will repurchase from you um, they'll engage with you on social media I have some really amazing customers at encircle.ca who have been with me along the way in the journey and some of them have purchased um, you know four figures worth of clothing and in about a year which is pretty incredible for a brand new brand so I'd say this is a really critical stage so look at what you're doing with your customers what are some things do you follow up with a handwritten note a couple of weeks later after a shipments arrived do you send them a an example of what we do at circled here as well is that we have an automatic review system that goes out so it sends a notice to the customer about two weeks out for them to fill out a review whether or not they like the product if there's anything we can do to help and then as a thank you for completing that review uh, we donate five dollars to the Surfrider Foundation which keeps oceans and beaches clean in North America so that's something we do to help advocate we will often follow up with customers if they have questions or just to check in on them it's those little details that you don't see coming from mass brands that help small online retailers like us do really, really well in the space. And the one thing to note here is that there's an arrow going back to awareness find you. So the one thing you can't do with your advocates or loyal friends at this stage is forget about them. So you want to keep that circle and that flow, that purchase journey going in a cyclical manner. So you want to con consciously be communicating with them at all times. So once you've filled out the first two columns of this, now's a great time to go back holistically and have a look at what are you doing in each of these five steps and what is your competition doing and how can you improve as a whole. 
Now, it's dangerous to put down a whole list of tactics. I mean, ideally you want this really connected with your brand strategy and overall retail strategy, but maybe there are some things here tactically that you can do in the next two, four, six weeks to improve each of these stages of the purchase journey. So that's a summary of this template. Just a couple of notes. It's a PDF file. It's printed on legal paper. So if you have legal paper, great. If not, um, definitely you can use it and make notes in a notebook. Um, let me know your thoughts. Visit us at www.retailbliss.ca, hello at retailbliss.ca, or find me on Twitter at retailbliss. I'd love to hear your feedback on this template and discuss what's come up in terms of your purchase journey for your customers. Thanks so much and enjoy the template.